Yes guys, this is the Surface Studio, Microsoft's all-in-one PC that really is stunning to look at and use. I have to say though, this thing at first glance is just a marvel. Now the first thing of course you notice is the display, 28 inch pixel sense display, resolution is 4500 by 3000, uh, PPI 192, it's really vibrant, it, they call it a 4.5K display, so it's more than 4K just in terms of resolution, really looks fantastic and is great for working on and also viewing content. Now the display itself is really thin, this is made from one piece uh, of I believe aluminum, I could be wrong, or magnesium aluminum um, but it's really thin 12.5 inches all around um, and of course you can dock your surface pen which comes with it now like I said the 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 streamlined nature of this really makes it very comfortable and easy to use whatever position you have it on and you can bring it lower or bring it higher now in terms of what it packs in there first of all everything is in the base and there's only a power plug that comes out. They have four USB ports, a display port that comes out as well, uh, uh, as well as also SD card slots. Now, the power supply is also built into the device, so you have nothing other than the power plug that coming out of the device. Now, in terms of processing, you can get a, you can get a quad core processor, either an i5 or i7, the variants are there, from a GTX 9, uh, 965M to a GTX 980, and of course, eight 16, 32 gigabyte RAM variants uh, with, of course, the different SD SSD as well as storage variants there. Pricing starts at 3000 So this is not cheap. This is something that's, of course, relatively priced different. Now, the other big thing was the Surface Style. This little device or this knob here adds so much more functionality to your use, be it on the uh, Surface Studio or even your Surface Pro 4, Surface Pro 3, and Surface Pro, you can use it with it. But the dial really adds an extra element to the way you use your Surface uh, Studio. It really brings something else that I think a lot of people will appreciate in terms of functionality and use. So really dropping it on a Surface Studio, you can use the dial while, you know, uh, painting, coloring, you can use it also just, just to change even the, the brightness and color ratio. It has many added functionalities and depends on of course the applications you're using in it. So uh, this goes a long way in bringing just a new element of design and also functionality in terms of use of the dial. Now you could use it on the, surf, on the Surface Studio or you can use it on the table, it doesn't matter. You can bring it on and off to give you a different workflow mentality. And uh, that really shows. So Microsoft's really showing something here that really brings a lot of productivity here. And you know, we saw at the press conference where uh, one of the artists there was actually sketching with the Surface uh, Studio, and then he zoomed in with the dial to get in closer to put in more detail. And that's what this device really brings to the table for you. It brings a lot of functionality, a lot of uh, just you know, uh, use case scenarios. I can see. As a gamer, I can see the dial actually using, uh, working with something like, say, StarCraft, where I can zoom in into a map, zoom out, click in, click out. Uh, I can use the dial and the mouse together. Again, no gaming functionality there. That's just me envisioning that and seeing some kind of functionality there down the future. Hopefully, Microsoft can open that to other devices. But right now, it is for the Surface Studio, the Surface Pro, for the Pro, uh, Surface Book, and the Pro 3. But you can see the, the way it functions and it works uh, as you use it with different uh, uh, use case scenarios. So it's really nice to see that in there with the uh, Surface Book. Now you can also game with the two. We're looking at Forza uh, Horizon 3. This is actually installed on the system here and playing runs really well, as you can see quite clearly. Of course, it didn't check the frame rates, but uh, in terms of gaming functionality, this will run a lot of games well on this device. Of course, uh, the 980M variant sh should do the trick there for you. Now the second device Microsoft had on hand is the Surface Book Performance edition. Now this is a Surface Book that has added battery life, it has an improved GPU uh, to give you more performance. Starts at $23.99 and what it means by added battery life is that basically it will last up to 16 hours according to Microsoft of local video playback. Video playback. Uh, and you also have a GTX 965M GPU 2, 2 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. So what this means is you can take that long trip from here to China and you don't have to actually charge your Surface Book. Uh, and also you get better performance in terms of graphic uh, quality and also you should do better gaming on the Surface Book for you. So it's pretty nice to see that Microsoft has done this. Now again, this is priced a little higher, but you know, for those who are looking for more performance off the Surface Book line, this is what it brings to the table here for you. 
you. So all in all, I think Microsoft has really showcased some really interesting devices, especially with the Surface Studio. I like its form. I like its functionality. I think this is a creator's, um, you know, dream because you can do so much with it, especially pairing the dial as well as the pen together. They will display how vibrant it is and also how easy it is to manipulate the display in different angles and use it to the best of the ability for what you want to use it for. Uh, it is an excellent tool and I can't wait to try it out. You can pick up the, you can pre-order the Surface Studio now and it will be available November 10th. Pricing starts at 3000 Microsoft said it will be in limited quantities. So if guys, if you have any questions or any comments about the Surface Studio, let us know. Uh, don't forget to like and share this video. Hopefully we can get them in to give you a full review of both the Studio as well as the Surface Book. Um, also definitely enter into our contest. We have a giveaway running right now and also sign up for our newsletter, which will give you some exclusive content to the channel. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.